move fast here. There we go. Because it's getting cold. And I want them to have as long as possible to get clustered up around the clean cage. So I'm going to do this in the hustle version. We'll see if you get a soft queen cage. Yeah, hope so. Important thing is to hold on to the queen cage tab. Lots of people get hung up on the kind of covering over the hole part. And that's not as important as holding on to the queen cage part. There she is, running around, looking like a million bucks. I've got my cork end here. I if I can get it out with my hive mm -hmm. tool. Sometimes that works. Sometimes not as well. There we go. Corner, corner pried up. Yeah, maybe I can get it with my toothpick. Seems like trying to pull it with a toothpick, I break the toothpick. So... I'm sticking the toothpick in gently, not poking the queen, and then I auger out a hole. That's ready to go. I want this tab on the other side. I'm going to pry it off. Oops, broke staple. Hey, don't get caught between my finger. So I just pried the staple out. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to push it back through this metal, probably not. Maybe right over that edge. I've got a little tab edge there. So I just got to get this cage in here somehow. Doesn't matter how, hook or by crook. Well, I'm gonna skip it. So I want to hang this cage in this, in the, in the hive, right side up. Oh, that's a good idea. Take a little piece of this comb that Jeff just handed me and just use it to jam it right in. This is going to uh, act as a prop. It's also probably going to entice them to draw a funky comb right where it is, but that's all right. So I'm holding the candy up, sticking my fingers in there, and really rest jamming that queen cage in. What I don't want is for her to fall down to the bottom board where the bees can't get to her, but she's fine. So sugar syrup, not on the queen cage, but on the frame next to her. I can get this thing working. So it's on the opposite side of the frame from her, not squirting her. Alright. Ready for the infamous thump and dump? Good old fashioned thump and dump, as we like to call it here in the fine state of Maine. Thump and dump. Including some on the queen. And just get as many people into the hive as we can. the whack and dump. Not very delicate. It gets the job done. Now lots of bees are in here on the bottom so I'm not going to press the frame down. I'm just putting it in and letting it float down on top of the bees. And then it scoots right out of the way, kind of like, you know, little living creatures would. But you don't want to just jam them in there. Happy fanning. Everybody likes being in a cold dark, I mean in a dark, <laughs> cool place. As opposed to a scary open, not inside place. You can hear all that roaring. That's happy. Brushing bees off the side. Watch out, you guys. Let's go in. Brush the bees into the hive, not out of the hive. Go ahead, guys. All right, everybody. Hi, my friends. Sticks. Um, the reason for the sticks is so that the bees can crawl up around the syrup bucket. I'm going to stand right behind to do the syrup bucket.
Um, so we can see the gaining of the section. You can see right underneath there. Look out, little lady. One more whack and dump. Dumped them into the corner. Now I try to roll them in. They're pretty heavily into the clump together instinct where they want to be, which they've been doing for a couple days in this cage. But I want them to break that up and get up and clump inside. But I don't want them clumping in the cage because they'll get cold. It's about, what is it, 6.15? Yeah, right about that, yeah. You know. Sun's going down. Five degrees. And um. we're in. Hop off the, off the bucket, guys. Go down in. My little friends, fast. Ta-da!